The victim is a young man named Sok Heng, and he lives in a slum area known as Kandal. A lot of people in this area live on less than a dollar a day, and it's not often that outsiders show up. I'm not sure if I'll be welcome. But when I find him at his family home, Sok agrees to tell me his story. So can you tell me exactly what happened to you? Listening to his account, it soon becomes clear that this must be the very attack that brought me to Cambodia. It was just outside the back of the house here, and he was wearing a sort of a wraparound, a bit like a sarong, I think, called a crammer. Many fishermen wear crammers in the water, but they leave the flesh beneath exposed and vulnerable. Sok was checking the nets that he'd set alongside a floating house when he felt a sudden, sharp pain in his groin. It was only when he got to the hospital that he discovered the horrifying extent of his injury. <laughs> He says it was a, a clean cut, no ragged edges at all, and it actually cleanly removed part of his testicle, and it happened in a fraction of a second. Sock did not see his attacker. It vanished as quickly as it had struck. Whatever this was, it, it just bit him and then disappeared. It's almost like bolt cutters. I mean, you really wouldn't want to get anywhere within range of that at all. Ah, ah look at this. Arapaima on a fly. <laughs> 